Hello there guys, my name is Roxby and welcome back to the Ajax career mode here on FIFA 16. Last time around we got knocked out of both the Dutch Cup and the Champions League unfortunately. So all we have left is the Eredivisie League. Now if we look over at the league table, we are still in first so that's definitely good. We're two points ahead of PSV with six more games to play so we should be able to uh, win this. And we're going to cover all six of those games this episode. That's right, this is the season finale. So... If you guys want to suggest players for next season already, let me know who you think I should bring in next season in the summer. And uh, yeah, next season I really want to see how far I can get in the Champions League. Because I got knocked out in the first knockout stages already, so that's a bit early. I want to see if I can get a lot further next time around. But for now, let's go ahead and move on to the next match. First up, we have a match against FC Utrecht. And I can just use my entire fit first team for this so let's get in and get our first three points of the episode. Agazi now going down the flank we can cut inside here and actually take a shot here already but straight in the hands of the keeper. Fischer now true unfortunately nobody in front of goal but we can cross it all the way over to Agazi who takes that very nicely but can't get it past the keeper. A oh, good ball over the top by uh, Lukaku now for Fischer can he get past his man he can that is very nicely done still going and laying that off but good shot but good save and Utrecht gets the goal in a lot of just passing into the box and my players were all out of position and they sh get it into the empty goal oh, that was poor defending on my part but they passed it very well here very nice running and they had the free man on the right there, Lukaku totally out of position and Sidis has no chance there once he comes out. Cross in by Tate now, we don't win the header but the ball falls back here. This has to go in, no it hits the post, unlucky. Now a pass in, shot by Klaassen, oh just goes wide. Oh El Ghazi, he walks through there, he has to finish this, he doesn't but the ball is still there. It somehow does not go in. El Ghazi again. This time then. Yes, this time it does go in. And we get the 1-1. Now we have 10 minutes left to get another goal to make sure we don't drop any points in the title race. But a good little run by El Ghazi into the box here. Dodges two players and then gets the shot over the keeper. Good true ball now. Zivkovic. Can he find the space? He can. He finds the space to get the ball into the net, into the short corner somehow. And he gets us the 2-1. Now as long as we hold on, we should have the win. But I think we should be able to because aside from that one goal, Utrecht did nothing. Very lucky deflection here off the back of the defender though. And there we go. We get our win. 2-1 win. Three points in the first game. Let's move on to the next one and make sure we win that too. And doing some more training, Tate has gone up to 78 and two of my young players have also gone up a rating, so that's good to see. Next up we have a match against the Graafschap, but they are bottom of the league, only got 11 points or something in 29 games. So I'm just going to simulate it, I think we should be able to do well, but if Bazour is going to get a red card early on and class a knock, that doesn't look good. And now we're 1-0 down, uh, playing with 10 men away from home is not looking good for us. Hopefully we can at least get a draw here though. Okay, Tiedemans gets a penalty and we are now 1-1. I would have ideally liked to win, but you know what? If I get a red card that early on, I guess a draw is a decent enough result. And Klaas will be out two weeks with a dislocated shoulder. Unfortunately, dropping those points does mean we are equal with PSV on points, but we have a goal difference that is one goal better. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to make sure we win all our games. More training and Leroy and Lovens have both gone up. They've both reached 63 overall now, so some good progression there. And Lukaku wants some more wages. Let's take a look at the, his contract. He is on 40k. He wants to go up to 60k. I am fine with that, so let's give him his contract. Next up is an away match to Vitesse. They are currently third, so this is going to be a tough match, but let's go in and make sure we get the win this time around. Now a great chance to counter. El Ghazi is true here. Let's uh, lay it off for Mbolo. Ah, oh, the angle was not good enough. Now let's cross this ball into the box. Open goal. 
No, saved off the line. Oh, and Bolo, he steals it. That is very nicely done. And he's going to finesse this wide. Come on, Mbolo, you're better than that. Oh, he's true. Let, oh, no, let that go for Andersa. Well, it still works out. And Bolo lays it back to Andersa, and he gets the goal past the keeper now. And we're 1 0 up at the end of the first half here. But yeah, Andersa could have already picked it up, but he just jumped over it. Oh, well, it worked out in the end, and we get our goal. Goodell, you now. Let's lay it off for Andersa then. Andersa, can you get a second goal? No, that's too weak, but. Zivkovic taps that into the empty net any day of the week. And that puts us 2-0 up with 10 minutes to play and this match should really be in the bag now. And Fitesa get a goal back because I cannot apparently get the right player and they just pass it straight to the middle and shoot. Like, look how poor and simple this was. Like, anytime I got to the player they just already passed it to the next one and poor defending for me really that's the end of the match 2-1 win we still got the three points didn't want to concede that goal though that was just dumb but hey doesn't matter we got the three points that's the main thing that matters and doing some more training Overhaar is now up to 64 and i'm also training on Bolo and is finishing a bit and Lukaku has accepted his contract. Next up we have a home match against Excelsior. I'm going to simulate it again. This time at home we should have a better chance. Plus they lost their last three matches. So it should be good. They're somewhere near the bottom of the table as well. And there we go. El Ghazi gets us 1-0 up and then 2-0 up pretty shortly already. So definitely a much better start than last simulated match. And El Ghazi for his hat trick 3-0 now. We should definitely have this in the bag. Hopefully we can score a few more goals because that would boost our goal differential and we're going to need that. Bazur with the fourth. And yeah, that will definitely help our goal difference, which may actually be important in winning the league this year. Yep, if we look at the league table, we are still tied with PSV now because we lost those points in the simulated match against the Graafschap. But we have one goal more in goal differential, so... It's really going to get close because goals forward and goals against is also both very, very close. This is going to be tight to the end. Hmm. So Fischer is apparently unsettled. He might want to leave. So I think we might have to offer him a bigger contract to see if that will make him stay. But else we may have to replace Fischer in the summer. So that's going to be tricky. Let's just see if he'll accept a bigger contract and be happy again. We're going to up his contract to 100k a week and make him crucial first team player. Let's see if he signs this. Well, he isn't really interested in it. They don't want to sign at all. So I guess we're going to have to look for a new left winger to replace him. Unless we want to go ahead with Larson as our first choice. But that's definitely not an ideal situation because I like Fischer quite a bit. All right, now next up we have the home match against Cumbria. I'm going to switch out Larson in for Fischer and see how he feels. If he, if I feel like he's really good enough yet to hold a first place spot next season too when we go into the Champions League. Because otherwise we might have to bring in a replacement over the summer. So let's get in and see if we can get another three points. Corner for Cumbria now early on in the match. Let's see what they do with this. Falls to the edge of the box. Falls into the box and they get a shot, but Silas saves. And that's a great true ball for Mbolo. He has the pace, but he's at a wrong angle. Needs to cut inside first and gets the shot. That gets a massive deflection, but it goes in and Mbolo scores his first goal of the episode and the first goal this match, putting us 1-0 up. I think that got a massive deflection anyway. Let, let's see in the replay. Yeah, that massively reflects and the keeper has no chance there. Just off the leg there and 1-0. Let's bring this corner in with Tielemans. Doesn't work yet. Let's lay this off to Bazur at the edge of the box. Can get the shot. Doesn't go in. Falls for Lukaku and he does get it in. 2-0 up after 30 minutes of play is very good. Good start corner initially wasn't too good but in the rebound lucky bounce there of the leg of uh, I'm not quite sure who that is uh, El Ghazi actually I believe and yeah Lukaku then smashes that past the keeper 2-0 and that's the match a 2-0 win nothing really exciting happened in the second half I would have liked to score a bit more for my goal differential but at least we got the three points and that means uh 
There's one more match to go and we need to win that to stay ahead of PSV and hope they just drop some points. And PSV drew their match, so we are now two points ahead with one more match to go. That means that as long as we win our match, we can go through as the league winner. So that's great news. Just one more match to go. We can do this. We got Manager of the Month award, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we also have a new scout report. Let's see, anyone good? Ooh, Eric Beiger, he looks like he could be quite good. I'm going to go ahead and sign him up. Uh, same with Jurgen Smits, he looks very, very nice. Gonna go for him too. Uh, yeah, Luigi van der Berg doesn't look good enough. Nick Ligion doesn't look good enough. And Nick Ondan, he does look good. And apparently Heidinga's contract is expiring. I don't think I'm gonna renew it. He really just isn't that good anymore. And I'm not using him at all. So even though he is, you know, like a bit of a cult player... I think I'm just going to let his contract expire and let him move on. And with some more training, Lovens has now reached 64 overall. Alright, last match. It's against Rode SA away from home. Let's go get our three points and win this title. Now out wide to Mbolo. Let's get our goal early in here. No, that's too weak. Oh, that's a good true ball. Mbolo, finish this. No! Oh, Mbolo. Alright, I'm gonna take my corner short because playing it long never seems to work for me. And then just pass it into the box. Riedewald, he's not the player I want to shoot. Class works, but good save from the keeper. Let's try that again. Passing it short, playing it off here for someone with a bit of space for a shot, but Sviachenko is not the guy you want. Roda with a corner here at the end of the first half. What do they do with it? They're bringing it in, but that's for six. I really just haven't been able to really get through and get my goal here in this first half. So now in the second half, that really is what I need to do. I want to get a goal because I don't want to count on PSV possibly winning with a wide margin and then beating me in goal difference. So let's make sure that whatever we do, we get a win here. We're brought down in the box, but it's... Ref says play on. And... Yep, Al Ghazi was brought down in the box and he did pick up an injury. Well, Muric, maybe you can give me another big, big goal this match? I sure hope so. And I'm gonna switch off Spisher now and bring on Marcus Leroy. That's right, our future talent is gonna get on in this title deciding match. Let's see if he can score a goal in his debut and give us the three points we need. Oh, Mbolo. He can stay on his feet still, but he's doing really well. This is an amazing run by Mbolo. Now for the shot and the finish, and just barely doesn't come off. Okay, Lukaku now needs to finish this. He does not, though. That's good. Mbolo now. Mbolo. Finish it. No, header by Klaas, and it's in. 1-0. I didn't even control class there. He did that header all by himself. I really thought the keeper would save that. But no, this may just be the goal that wins us the title. And Bolo with the shot and it gets deflected off the defender and class decides to just give that a little flick with his head. Keeper really should get there. But that AI of the goalkeeper there is really, really dumb. And it just slowly tri trickles into the goal and... Ah, this is a dream position to be in. And that's that. A 1-0 win means we do win the title. We are champions of the Eredivisie in this match. It took a goal in the 84th minute by Klaas. So that was probably 99% luck. But I'll take it to at least get some silverware in this season with the league title. Players are celebrating and rightfully so because we are champions of the Netherlands. Okay, it's time now. Our captain Sviachenko, he gets it. And up in the air, we are Eredivisie champions of the 2016-2017 season in the game. And we did very well to beat it. It was a very tight and close race with PSV until the very end. But they dropped some points at a poor moment. And we snatched it away from them and made sure that we didn't lose any more points in those last few matches. And there we go, we are champions. And here is the final league table. After 34 matches, we have 
25 wins, 7 draws, and only 2 losses, 60 goals scored, with only 15 conceded, and a total of 82 points. PSV scored the same amount of goals at 60, but they conceded 3 more, and they uh, had 2 more losses compared to 2 draws, and that explains the 2 point difference, but... That was a very, very close race. And Heerenveen in third in the end, Feyenoord fourth. And at the bottom, we have the Graafschap, 17 points. They did the worst. But yeah, good season for us in the league. And I'm happy that we were able to get the league title. And for that, we get an extra 7 million. And unfortunately, El Ghazi is injured. He will be out for about eight weeks. But that means he should be fit again before the start of the next season. Doing some more training. Leroy now at 65 overall. So that's good to see that he's growing well. And with some more training now. And Bolo has reached 79 overall. And Overgor is already at 66. And another training session. Lovens now also up to 65. Now to finish off I'm going to do a squad report. As always just pause if you want to look at any players in depth. But this might help you guys with giving me some suggestions for any players you think I should bring in. Uh... We definitely need a replacement for Fisher if he does leave. So a good left winger suggestions could be good. But just in general, you know, next season I really want to go far into the Champions League. And we need a great, great squad for that. So any suggestions you have, leave them in the comments below. I won't, I probably won't be doing an episode Friday. We will probably skip that update. Um, and then uh, next Tuesday we will start the third season and we will go all in for the Champions League and see how well we can do there. But yeah, f um, I'm not sure if I have time to record before Friday again. So maybe I, there will be an update, but uh, otherwise just wait until next Tuesday and uh, we should have one then. And yeah, here we go. This is uh, all our squad, a lot of young talents that might be coming back from loan, but we'll have to wait and see how they uh, turn out to be. But that's that's our squad. And there we go, we have one manager of the season for our efforts. So that's good to get. And we had a super season, we won the league title. They were also very happy with our Champions Cup performance. Although our domestic cup performance wasn't the best, but overall we did well. So let's advance to the next season. For our next season, we have a budget of 33 million and a wage budget of 160,000. So we should be able to bring in one or two great players with that. Or maybe, you know, even more, but a bit lower skill. We'll have to see what we do. And our league objective is, of course, to win the league title again. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you are excited for Season 3, then be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And while you're down there, leave a thumbs up for the season finale. And I will see you all next time.